Hey guys, it is Marianne at Thrive with your top tip. Today I wanted to talk to you about some of the ways that you can make a form that might go out to lots of different people still feel really personal and that's to customize the thank you message at the end. Now we've all filled in a form somewhere where you get to that bog standard, thank you, your response was submitted. And this is your chance to do something different. In Microsoft Forms, you can head to your settings and then there's an, a section at the top there, which allow, oh, sorry, at the bottom, which allows you to customize your thank you message. The standard response is your response was submitted. But the beauty of Forms is that you can inject some personality here, put some custom text in, remember that it can't be personalized with their name or information, but you can still make it sound like you bold emojis, pop some links in, but make sure that it sounds like you. Because what you want to do is say, thank you for your time. I'm going to look at this or my team are going to look at this. And here's what's going to happen next. Don't leave people in the dark once they've hit that submit button. Let them know someone might be getting back in touch with them or we're going to use this data to improve how we serve you, whatever it might be. Because what it means is that people feel seen in that moment we all know that a lot of this is automated and pre-built in advance, but the fact that you've taken the time to customize some of those elements keeps that feeling of connection and will make it more likely that someone is going to either respond when you follow up or fill in the form you need to do or complete the, the document or work with you again in the future. So make sure that you put those little touches in to really stamp your style on things and to build that connection with your audience in every possible way.